Dzień dobry, good day. Welcome to Northampton's Polish Heritage Committee's 34th Pulaski Day celebration. General Kasper Pulaski, a citizen of Poland, died on October 11, 1779, in Savannah, Georgia, a wound suffered while fighting for our American independence. I became curious as to how this became. And the official origin of Pulaski Day was on June 18, 1929, when Congress, in honor of the 150th anniversary of his death, passed Public Resolution 16 of 1929, establishing October 11th of each year as General Pulaski Memorial Day. Also in 1929, the Polish-American community of Northampton erected the commemorative monument to honor his legacy. We gather today to honor General Pulaski, to promote and preserve our Polish heritage, and to honor our Polish parents and grandparents who made a very difficult trip from Poland to this country. The Reverend Adam Czarnecki, pastor of St. Valentine's Polish National Church, will offer the invocation. Walcząc odważnie, aby zachować wolność Polski, generał Pułaski stracił w wojnie brata i ojca. Pomimo tragicznej straty, po swym przybyciu do Marblehead, Massachusetts, niedaleko Bostonu, 23 lipca 1777 roku, napisał do generała Waszyngtona, przybyłem tu, gdzie wolność jest broniona, aby jej służyć i żyć lub umrzeć dla niej. Zaledwie dwa lata i trzy miesiące później złożył swe życie za wolność Ameryki. O Boże, Stwórco i Najwyższy Władco Ludzkości, któryś wszczepił w ludzi miłość ojczyzny, języka ojczystego i narodowych ideałów, a zwłaszcza ideału wolności, wobec Ciebie wspominamy dziś generała Kazimierza Pułaskiego, który mocno wierzył w wolność i walczył o nią nie tylko dla swego rodzinnego kraju, lecz również dla Stanów Zjednoczonych w zmaganiach o niepodległość. Spraw, abyśmy i my nauczyli się podążać drogą wypełniania obowiązków, poświęcenia i ofiary, którą generał Pułaski, nasi przodkowie i nasi bracia i siostry podążali. Prosimy o to przez naszego Pana Jezusa Chrystusa. Fighting bravely to preserve Poland's freedom, General Pulaski lost his brother and father in war. In spite of this tragic loss, he wrote to General Washington after his arrival to Marblehead, Massachusetts, near Boston, on July 23, 1777. I came here where freedom is being defended to serve it and to live or die for it. And only two years and three months later, he laid his own life for the freedom of America. O God, creator and supreme ruler of mankind, who implanted in the people a love of their fatherland, native language and national ideals, and most particularly, the ideal of freedom. We remember before you today General, General Kazimir Pulaski, who strongly believed in fought for freedom, not only for his native country, but for our United States in the struggle for independence. Grant that we too may learn to pursue the path of duty, consecration and sacrifice with General Pulaski, our forefathers, and our brothers and sisters have tried. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now I'll call on Veterans Agent Stephen Connor to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning.
attention. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will now have the we will now have the traditional laying of the wreath by Carol Landry and Christine Mayes. And now our general Pulaski of the day, Brian Kuznetsky, will lead us in a salute. Our trumpeter today, Robert Friedrich of Eddie Polka, Eddie Foreman's Polka Band, will play taps, followed by the Polish National Anthem. Joined by Eddie Foreman, will help have the Polish national anthem. Hopkins Academy Marching Band under the direction of band director Francis Fazio will play the Star Spangled Banner followed by the God followed by God Bless the
thank you very much. A nice presentation. We will now call on Frank Stumura, who will sing God Bless America in Polish. Boże Amerykę, błogosławna, bądź strażą przed wrażą, siłą złą, co o jej przycha bram. Poprzez góry, przez doliny, od morz jezior, że to Boże Amerykę błogosławną poprzez góry, przez doliny, od morz jezior, że to Boże Amerykę błogosławną no, Boże Amerykę, błogosław nam. Thank you, Mr. Chavor. Well, Present Mayor Gina Louise Ciara of Northampton, who will read her a proclamation. Good afternoon. It's a privilege to be with you all on this beautiful day. Um, I am going to read a proclamation of uh, de declaring October Polish Heritage Month here in the city of Northampton. Whereas in, since 1608, when the first Polish settlers arrived at Jamestown, Virginia, Polish people have been an important part of America's history and culture. And whereas Polish people have distinguished themselves and their heritage by making major contributions to the arts, the sciences, education, our democratic ideals and principles, and to humanity. And whereas our country and our democratic system have been protected by many brave and caring individuals of Polish heritage who have helped keep us free. And whereas in October 1929, Northampton Mayor Jesse Andre accepted from the Northampton Polish American Societies the General Kazimir Pulaski Monument to honor his service in the American Revolution. And whereas this month we mark the 244th anniversary of the death of General Kazimir Pulaski, who saved General George Washington's life at the Battle of Brandywine in 1777, and who then was appointed commander of the Continental Cavalry by General Washington. And whereas it is important for all people to appreciate and recognize the contribution of all heritage, heritages to our society. Now therefore I, Mayor Gina Louise Shara, recognizing the contribution of Polish people everywhere, especially in our city, to hereby proclaim the month of October 2023 to be Polish Heritage Month in the city of Northampton. Let us all celebrate the contributions that people of Polish descent have made to our nation and particularly to our city in the arts, sciences, agriculture, religion, and scholarship. In witness whereof, I have set my hand and imprinted the seal of the city of Northampton on the first day of October, 2023. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. We also have a proclamation from the Massachusetts State Senate, which I will read to you. Commonwealth of Massachusetts, State of Mass, State Senate, official citation. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the Polish Heritage Committee of Northampton in recognition of Pulaski Day and your ongoing work to celebrate and highlight Polish heritage and culture in Northampton. Be it further known <clears throat> that the Massachusetts Senate extend, extends its best wishes for continued success. The citation to be signed, duly signed by the President of the Senate and, sub, <clears throat> and attested to and a copy therefore transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. Signed by Karen E. Spoka, President of the Senate. Attested by Michael D. Hurley, Clerk of the Senate and offered by Joanne M. Comerford, our state senator. 
Anybody else? <coughs> we also have a site a proclamation from Whereas we celebrate the outstanding life of General Casimir Pulaski, who fought for independence and freedom in both the United States and in Poland. And whereas General Pulaski became known as the father of the American cavalry and once saved General George Washington's life. And whereas on October 11, 1779, during the siege of Savannah, General Pulaski gravely, bravely gave his life for America's independence. And whereas on November 6, 2009, General Pulaski was granted honorary citizenship for his bravery and distinguished service during the American Revolution, making him only one of making him one of the only eight people to ever receive such honor. And whereas I, <clears throat> every October 11th, to set aside to remember the remember and commemorate the great life of General Pulaski and the incredible contributions of the Polish community as a whole. And whereas, on, and whereas today, on October 11th, 2023, we observe this important day in the Commonwealth. Now, therefore, I, Maura T. Healy, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby proclaim October 11th, 2023 to be General Pulaski Day, and urge all residents of the Commonwealth to take organized cognizance of this event and particularly and participate fittingly in its observance. Given to the executive committee chamber in Boston the first day of October in the year of our Lord 2023 and of the independence of the United States of America the 247th by Her Excellency Governor Maura Healy, Kimberly Driscoll, ex -gov Lieutenant Governor of, that, of the Commonwealth, and William Francis Gallivan, Secretary of the Commonwealth. Also joining us this morning are, are is New Hampshire County Sheriff Patrick Kaling. I'd like to acknowledge Patrick. City Council President James Mesh. 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 N A S H. Mesh. And Veterans Service. Director of Veterans Services, Stephen Connor. We have two special guests with us this morning. Miss Polish, Massachusetts, Octavia Geharowicz. She was born in Poland, raised in Webster, and as a student at the University of New Hampshire, where she, where she is pursuing a degree in microbiology and health management. And also junior Miss Polish, Massachusetts, 11-year-old Jocelyn Sexton of Hoya. It's now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Carl Edgar, Jr. A graduate of Hoyoke High School, he holds a Bachelor of Science degree and a Master of Public Administration in Community and Economic Development from the University of, New Mar University of Massachusetts. He has had a remarkable 45 years of public service at the federal, state, and local level, and has served on numerous community organizations. He is a board member of the Polish Center of Discovery and Learning 
at Our Lady of the Elms College in South Haven. Thank you for the privilege of being able to speak here at this August occasion. Good. Thank you. When I was invited to speak, what was me when I said, how will I ever be able to collapse 250 years? Well, I thought about it and I came up with one easy way, with all due respect to those of you who can be seated, it's only going to take five minutes. I came up with a formula called the W's of life. Who, why, what, when, and where. The who of why we are here, that's you and me, and he, General Pulaski. The why, what better way to give respect to this venerated ground in his name. General Pulaski, who was born in Poland, chose to be an American citizen, fought for that liberty, independence, died by giving his ultimate life sacrifice that we would not only have that independence, but would have a constitution fortified by a Bill of Rights that gives us the freedom, the liberty, with civility. What for? That we today have the responsibility to maintain that independence, to maintain that constitution, Bill of Rights, and in this day and age, that's not easily said. There was a time when it was an external force. We've got to be ever cognizant of an internal force that's impeding that sacred document. As for our having a where and when, the when is 250 years ago. More specifically, seven, middle, late 1770s, where here along the east coast of the Atlantic, called the 13 original colonies, the Bay Colony of which is now Massachusetts being really the anchor. Picture for a moment at that time, we were under the control of the British Empire. We had lost all of our liberties we were just nothing more than a gift to them for everything. Witness that there was that point in time when we had a tea party, tossing tea into the Boston Harbor. Why? Because we had that expression that said, taxation without representation is tyranny. To wit, Britain then brought forth their forces. We now know and remember there was such a thing called the shot heard around the world in Concord, Lexington. At that same time, south of here, we had George Washington, the father of our country, who is now having to deal with the issue of if we're going to be independent, we'll need to be able to have a military force to not only defend, but to also to be able to take charge. Fortunately, at that same time, there was a man by the name of Ben Franklin, and he is key to why we are here today. No, it's not the key that's on a string to a kite and electricity and lightning. The key was that he was very knowledgeable of those who lived in Europe and the politics of the day. He was aware of a nobleman born in Poland by the name of General Pulaski, who was fighting the Russians at that time in an area that we now know as Ukraine. Fortunately, through our then-to-become ambassador, 
Ben Franklin, was able to uh, bring about and influence the general to come here to America, to wit he did. And we all know, fought bravely and gave his life that we would have that independence, that we would have that constitution, that we would have that Bill of Rights to support our freedom, our liberty under civility. We stand here today in acknowledgement of now is not an external force that we've got to be looking after, it's within ourselves. There is a need for us to now be patriots. That document has got to be maintained, and the only way it's going to be maintained is by us as patriots. I'm sure that if General Pulaski were to come from his grave today, he would be the first one to say, that is your responsibility. I gave you that opportunity. And in Polish, I'm sure he would end up saying, Stola, I gave you 250, I'm going to give you 100 more. Thank you for bearing with me. God bless. God bless America. We have learned a lot of history today. I would now like to call on the president of the Northampton Polish Committee, Polish Heritage Committee, Robert Gibbowitz, to make a present a commemorative plaque to Parade Marshal Joseph M. Koss. Today, the Polish Heritage Committee wishes to recognize an individual who is not only a friend of Polonia, but a true example of a Polish-American who has contributed to this great country. As a technical specialist with more than 33 years experience at Hamilton Strand's, Stranden Division of United Technology, he was co-inventor of 10 patents in the area of environmental control systems, for commercial and military aircraft, wind turbine control systems, and gas turbine engine starter systems. His volunteer experience with the Polish American community includes Pol uh, president of the Polish American Congress of Western Mass. He's treasurer of the Polish National Alliance Lodge 525. He's trustee and manager of Pasutski Park in Holyoke, Massachusetts. He's treasurer of the Polish uh, Miss Massachusetts pageant and a member of the board of directors of the Polish Center of Discovery and Learning at Elms College. It is our pleasure and honor to recognize Mr. Joseph M. Koss, Grand Marshal of the 2023 General Kazimierz Pulaski Day Parade and salute this true Polish American individual. Welcome everybody to this very beautiful autumn day. I'm so proud to be here with you all. A couple months ago, John Skibiski invited me to be uh, Grand Marshal this year. Actually, it was uh, 15 years ago, on October 13th, 2008, that I, was, I gave the uh, keynote address at the same gathering. Time flies when you're having fun. So I want to thank the Northampton Parade Committee for this honor and wish you all a very happy Pulaski Day. Thank you very much. We will now observe a moment of silence in honor of Angela Fighting-Kevitz, longtime director of the Polish Heritage Committee. Members of the United States military are paid the ultimate price for our freedom and to honor all those who have served and serve our country.
<clears throat> the Reverend, Right Reverend Paul Sobolowski, Bishop of the Eastern Diocese Polish National Catholic Church, who offered the benediction. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord God, we give you thanks for the opportunity you allow us to uh, celebrate our faith. You told your apostles and during the great, uh, at the great commandment, uh, when you said, go forth unto all nations, baptizing and preaching, you told them not to go to individuals, but to nations, because nations have the gift of tradition, they have the gift of variety, they have the gift of language, they have the gift of culture uh, that, that adds so much, not only to our lives together as one another, uh, but also to our worship of you, uh, our, our Lord and God. So we ask you, Lord, this day to bless everybody who's been a part of this celebration. We honor the memory of Ka General Kazimierz Pulowski, and we pray you, Lord, that you would inspire with your Holy Spirit, especially the hearts of all the young people that are with us today, because it is their responsibility and our prayer is that they will take it on, and that is to continue to honor the heritage that is theirs. No matter what their backgrounds may be, what their ethnicity may be, there is a gift in each and every one of our youth and in their heritage that can bless and sanctify our lives together, our communities. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for the many blessings you give to us, and we especially thank you for the Polish-American heritage that is ours and that we may continue to, to share it with others that the world may know the, the beauty that it is uh, to be a Polish-American. We pray this all in your most holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. President of the Polish Heritage Committee, Robert Givowitz, will now offer closing remarks. First, I, I'd like to uh, recognize Father Stanislav Soko of St. Elizabeth Nancy Church for being here. Thank you, Father. Since 1608, when the first Polish settlers arrived in Jamestown, Virginia, Polish people have been an important part of American history and culture. Our nation owes, owes an immeasurable debt of gratitude to the millions of freedom-loving Poles who have come to our shores to build a new land. Polish Americans can be justly proud of the vital contributions people of Polish descent have made to our nation in the arts, the sciences, religion, and every area of endeavor. The military genius of Kosciuszko and Pulaski was essential in the defense of our freedoms in the Revolutionary War. Since then, millions of Poland's sons and daughters have helped build our country's prosperity and defend our liberty. On behalf of the Polish Heritage Committee, would like to extend our appreciation and gratitude to all who have made this year's Pulaski event and celebration of success. To our distinguished guests, Bishop Right Reverend Paul Sobiehowski, Reverend Adam Sarnetsky, Master of Ceremonies Thomas Strahowski, guest speaker Carl Eager, Parade Marshal Joseph Koss, the Honorable Mayor and elected officials in all the marching units, a heartful Jane Thank you and have a pleasant afternoon. <laughs>